Hi, Steve. How hey, how's it going? All good, all good. Okay, so um, I always like to start at the beginning. Um, your fa uh, dad was a boogie-woogie piano player. How, yeah, well, how, I'm not so much interested in going back in the old days so much, if, you can, if we can, because I, I try to tell everybody that I've kind of talked myself dry fair enough. about the old days. I, I'm happy to talk about the record and stuff, but that, you know, going over old ground, I can't even tell you how many times I've... I, I can imagine. So I kind of don't want to go too much back in the, in the distant past, you know what I mean? Okay, well, um, let's talk about the, the moment that it all started, basically, that was um, Jules Holland. That I can talk about. Okay, so, um, yeah, can you describe the feeling? Because when I saw that video, I thought you were, uh, you threw the, the guitar down, and I thought he knew he, he had a wonderful performance, but... Oh, no. Well, I never heard a Jules Holland show, you know, I didn't know what I, I didn't know what I was on. And I, you know, I, um, so I, I didn't even know that I was on. I, people told me it was a big show, but I, I didn't know it. And also, I had been sick for a couple of years before that. I had a heart attack, and I, I was kind of at a low point, you know. And um, that my the, this little this kid who put out my record, you know, all 500 of them, you know, he 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 got me on there, kind of him. It was, he was desperate for me to do it, but I, I was a little bit like, well, whatever, you know. And so I, I didn't even have an amplifier with me. I borrowed my son's little practice amp, mm -hmm. and I brought that there. But in the studio, it's very tall in there, and they don't have a PA system. So, you, you know, you get these little monitors in front of you. And it, like all the other bands, the, I played with, let's see, it was Lily Allen and the Kooks and Amy Winehouse and Paul Weller, they were all set up. But me, they just pushed out onto the floor. Uh, when I went to play, the, I, the mon they didn't work, so I couldn't hear nothing. And my amp was so small, it sounded like a mosquito. So, you know, and I never really played Doghouse Boogie much because I just made it, I, when I'm recording, I wasn't even making a record. So I just did it one time for the little recording I made, and that was the end of it. Mm -hmm. So I didn't really know, even know how to play it. So I got, it sounded so bad to me that like part way through, I just speed up. You know, I go, right, okay. Right. And that, but people thought I was like, or later I know people have told me I was just like rocking, mm -hmm. but I was just trying to get done. <laughs> And that's why I thought it sounded so bad in my ear that I just threw the guitar down because I figured, well, that was the end of that. <laughs> and the, where they had me, I couldn't, I couldn't see the audience because they're kind of in corners. And they just had a bunch of lights in front of me, so I couldn't hear or see anything. So I was just like absolutely by myself. And no band, obviously. So I just went, oh. <laughs> and then as soon as I threw the guitar down, I heard everyone screaming. And then my friends, you know, come over to me, who came with me, and went, oh, man, that was amazing. And I was like, I thought they were just trying to be nice. But literally, that was like, that, so it's crazy that I thought it was bad, and everybody else thought it was good. And then later I saw it, it sounded completely different, you know, because it was on TV. Well, when you, when you heard it back, did you... Uh Say well, actually, it was quite good. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I don't know if it was that good, but it was way better than I thought. But it, the reaction that it made was so crazy that it must have been good. Hmm. You know, it changed my whole life. One night, right? That night before, nobody knew who I was. The night after, all kinds of people knew. Well, I, as you say, your life changed, obviously, for the better. Um, yeah. Did it make it more difficult to write songs? No, no, no. You know, I, I don't have no problem writing songs. You know, I have a whole life of living with, you know, struggle and trying to make money and taking care of my family. And a lot of, all oh, that's my inspiration. You know, I don't, you know, I have 50 years of not doing very well. So if I want to draw on experience, I could do it for the next 50 years if I was alive, which I won't be. 